Today in the livestock market, uh, it looks like red across the board with uh, starting with the live cattle. We were down again. It just seems that the cash prices are struggling to offer any kind of support to the market. Uh, it's still in the middle of the week, so something may happen after that. But I think the futures are still trying to hang around that 135 mark. So that's offering a little bit of support here. It just seems that those new highs when we hit uh, 138 we really brought in some sellers and put some pressure on the market. The CVAL is at 14.4%, so it's pretty much the same that it's been for the last number of weeks. Uh, the feeders did fall as well. They're technically filling some of those old gaps, but of course the lower uh, grain prices and the higher uh, box B prices uh, surprisingly gave no help to the market, which uh, I was expecting to see maybe a little bit of a lift, uh, but the futures are still in the channel that they've been in for the last couple of weeks. Okay, so that's something to be watching going forward. Uh, I think this next next uh, week, or, or at least the next couple of days, should tell the tale uh, whether the cash prices are going to pick up and give uh, some support to the beef complex as a whole. Now, hogs were lower. Those futures uh, trend still remains up. Uh, the futures did not get lower than yesterday's low. So, you know, it really is the, the formation technically it still looks pretty good. That just shows that there is still strength. Uh, the cutouts were down, perhaps putting a little bit of a lid on prices for today. But demand is still shifting to pork uh, as we move into the summer. It's something to be watched. Uh, the futures are, you know, trying to uh, stay around that 108 market to stay above it. But we'll see. The CVAL is at 28.8%. Uh, and that's the first time that I've seen it actually below that 30% mark. So maybe it's coming back to a little bit more normal from where we used to be uh, historically with the lean hog market.